Hi, I'm Deborah Gitlitz, and I am a librarian, and I am going to read to you a little bit of Chris Rashka's wonderful wordless picture book, A Ball for Daisy, um, demonstrating how even with a book with no words, there's an opportunity for really rich language use with children. So part of what I'm going to do is notice the emotions and the expressions of what's happening in this book and describe them as I see them. This is a ball for Daisy. Oh, look, she's getting a ball. Her ears are up. She looks excited. She likes it. Her tail is wagging. Here's Daisy playing with her ball. You can tell she feels enthusiastic. She feels thrilled. She feels playful. And then when she feels tired, she curls up with her best buddy, the ball, and snuggles into that couch. So you can use interesting words. You don't have to just say, and Daisy slept with her ball. You can, you can show with your body and your tone of voice and your word choice uh, what is happening with Daisy there. 